LEGO sets are getting more and more expensive year after year. And with prices going up, many great sets are often overshadowed by their large and often unreasonable price tag. One of the most controversial price hikes done by LEGO is the $20 price hike from the standard and long-standing $15 price tag for Battle Packs. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the most underrated LEGO set of all time, the 75320 Snow Trooper Battle Pack. Now, when this set released, many fans of LEGO Star Wars and Battle Packs felt this was an overpriced set, especially with the recent Anniversary Imperial Dropship coming out as $20 with 5 minifigures, this set felt as if you had to pay $5 more for nothing extra in return. But now the $20 seems to be a more reasonable and acceptable price tag, especially with the recent Clone Trooper Battle Packs, let's take a look at the first of its kind with the Snow Trooper Battle Pack. Now I think fans actually did really like this set. It was out at the same time as the UCS AT-AT, so you could army build your Snow Troopers and your Scout Troopers to fill up that AT-AT. But I don't think fans realized how good it actually was. I mean, for starters, this set comes with three of the same troopers, already making this set a great battle pack. But LEGO took this a step further and gave each Snow Trooper a different individual face making this battle pack seem more like it has individual troopers more than angry clone troopers. Not to mention the only figure that isn't the same in this set is an exclusive Hoth scout trooper that is also army buildable. But just because the minifigures in the battle pack is good, it doesn't mean the battle pack is great. It just means it's serving its purpose. But this is where the snow trooper battle pack stands out. For the build, instead of making a scaled down version of something that doesn't really fit with any other build in a fan's collection, we get three builds that actually fit quite nicely with larger sets like the Hoth ATST and ATAT, -AT. and they're also very army buildable. Now, while most people realize how great it is for each of your Hoth Scout Troopers to have their own speeder bike, and for one of these Snow Troopers in each battle pack to have its own manual turret, there are many complaints about the Snow Barrier. While fine in smaller numbers, this build can seem unreasonable to army build as soon as having five or more. But an easy solution for this is to combine all of your snow barriers with a little bit of modding to the set and you will have a huge snow barrier for all of your snow troopers to hide behind. Or you can take some of these snow barrier builds and use them for your rebels that came out in the Hoth Trooper accessory pack. Now another massive positive for the set is that it doesn't use stud shooters for your minifigures. It just uses a new stud shooter mechanism for your turret. I think LEGO did this because LEGO realizes that the average LEGO fan does not like stud shooters, but they still recognize that there needs to be a play feature for children. Hence, the stud shooter on the turret. Another thing about this set that I haven't really heard anyone bring up since its release is that we get three of the same figures, and excluding the Anniversary Imperial Dropship set, we haven't gotten a minifigure selection like this in years. And now, this brings us to the only negative about this set, the lack of waist capes. Now, I myself am actually not a huge fan of waist capes on snow troopers. I actually prefer the printed waist capes on snow troopers. However, the same sadly cannot be said about clone troopers. Regardless of my opinion, the lack of waist capes in this set is still a huge negative for most fans of LEGO Star Wars who have been loving the waist capes we have been getting with snow troopers for the past, you know, 20 years and are kind of disappointed that LEGO just switched it up at the last second with this otherwise amazing battle pack. But it is the best battle pack we've gotten in a long time, so I definitely recommend you go out and you buy a couple more before the set retires next year. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and comment down below what you think the most underrated battle pack for LEGO Star Wars is. And with that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Have an amazing day. Peace out.